The ABC's Martin Cutter, he is in Athens and he joins us now. Martin, this is a story that seems to be moving quite quickly. We have had confirmation that they will not be making this payment. That was pretty much expected. Uh, but it also appears that there seems to be some last minute negotiations going on behind the scenes with the EU. Well, that's right. Local media here in Athens is reporting that at the highest levels of government, the negotiations are continuing. Of course, as you say, those are behind closed doors. We understand that an offer was made to Greece, an offer to repay at least part of the 1.6 billion euros that it owes to the IMF. Of course, that money was scheduled to be repaid tonight. Uh, the understanding is that the offer was for some of that money to be repaid and then once again cash would start to flow to Greece. Of course this all has to be remembered within the context that Greece owes hundreds of billions of euros to, to the EU, pr principally to Germany and France, so they really don't want Greece to exit the Eurozone. Do we know, Martin, if there's been any softening in the EU's stance on the deal that had been on the table? We heard from a very uh, firm Jean called Juncker last night, but suggestions that perhaps they've backed off on some of those key proposals, even around that sales tax. Well, we're hearing two different schools of thought here. One is that the same offer that was made over the weekend is the one that has been put to the Greeks again today to reconsider. The other is that the, the, the bailout package, the austerity measures, the tax hikes, the cutting of pensions, that has been scaled back somewhat. But of course, uh, as I said, these negotiations are going on behind closed doors. We can't be sure exactly what has been put to the authorities here in Athens. But uh, one thing is clear is that the Greeks definitely are considering it. And that's why these negotiations are going on as we speak, Bev. Martin, uh, the Prime Minister uh, Alexis Tsipras has almost staked his leadership on a no vote in the referendum on Sunday. Is the suggestion that he will resign if there's a yes vote? Well, that hasn't been uh, explicit, if you like, but that has been implied in what he was saying. He, he addressed the country uh, in a televised uh, address uh, last night, local time, and he urged his citizens to vote no. Uh, and he did suggest that perhaps if the no vote isn't successful, if, you're, if uh, the Greeks do vote to yes uh, to, to the ra latest round of austerity measures, then, then perhaps he will resign. And of course this, this has to be uh, viewed within the wider context of Europe. The, the Spanish government has commented in the last few hours it is urging Greek citizens to vote yes to this latest round of austerity measures and it said, uh, the, the, the Spanish did say that if a no vote was taken it was looking forward to negotiating with a new government here in Athens. So tensions are running quite, here, quite high here across the continent, Bev. And not to mention right through uh, uh, Europe, given the, 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 uh, the shakiness of world markets and the flow on effect that this is having. Well, that's right. I mean, of course, Australia's share market was up slightly today, but across Europe, uh, it's been all red today. And that has been the story uh, of this week, pretty much. Share markets right down ever since the announcement that this referendum is going to take place on Sunday. I expect there will be quite, uh, a, quite a large amount of volatility this week during, uh, across markets, not only here in Europe, but across the world as people wait to see exactly what will happen. Will Greece end up repaying this money. The finance minister says no, but the negotiations are still going on. And if it does indeed repay some of that money, will that be enough to appease markets? We'll have to wait and see, Bev. Martin, it looks like there are so many options as that referendum looms on Sunday. We'll keep in touch. Thanks for your time. Thank you.